Hi Arches, today's video is a pretty interesting topic and especially important for those who are running the Dodge build like me or are working towards it. So basically, Dodge is not as simple as most of us thought it was or it was claimed to be. Originally, I thought that Dodge just stacks, for example, two Serpent Rings give you 7% Dodge each and the Vest of Dexterity gives you 7% Dodge, which equaled to a total of 21% Dodge. It actually does not work like that and it's actually weaker than I thought. First, huge shout out to Reddit user Tryhard Completionist. He was the one who conducted the research and experiments. I have contacted him and he's happy to share this information with all of you to help you understand how Dodge actually works. You can find the direct Reddit post in the description box down below, which this video will be based off. The Reddit post has everything word for word. I will basically just be summarizing and simplifying it as much as I can. My name is Teeds and I make many archery videos from guides, tier lists, gameplays and more. Please do subscribe and click the bell for more archery content. First, TLDR. In case you're just interested in the results, Dodge is not additive. In this video, I will be showing you how it was figured out and how we came to that conclusion. And then I will talk about if you should still run a Dodge build in the second part of the video. In this experiment, Tryhard wanted to figure out if Dodge was additive. Additive means, in this context, Dodge chance being added together. So our assumption, for at least most of us, was that Dodge worked by adding the percentages we had all together, and that was our Dodge chance. There are some posts of people talking about 100% Dodge could be achieved, which was basically just adding the numbers all together and being at certain health percentages. Anyway, Tryhard did not have the hero Meowjik, so he asked the community to test his methods and returned him with the results. Basically, how Tryhard wanted the experiment to be conducted is to enter chapter 1 with a level 40 plus Meowjik. This is because Meowjik gains a personal 5% Dodge increase stat wearing only a vest of dexterity and two serpent rings. Sit in a room with one of the melee skulls that deal one damage, kill all projectile units and run into a corner to record the results. Take 1,500 hits and tell the amount of times you take one damage versus the amount of times missed. Tryhard's method was counting the numbers of times a message popped up as minus one or miss and subtracting the total difference in health to find the amount of misses. Yusa Shinkan applied the methodology and his results were 3,855 hits, 1,224 misses. There are three hypotheses that we have at the moment. So number one is purely additive dodge chance. So with the method that we used, that would be 26%. That is just all the percentages added together. Number two is multiplicative mischance. And then number three is additive dodge rating, but formula for calculating dodge. So number two equals to 23.6%. And number three is 20.6%. The observed dodge percentage we got from Shinkan's results was 24.1%. From these results, you can see that the dodge chance is not additive, which means 26% and the hypothesis is incorrect. Tryhard originally tested this with Helix, Helix with a vessel of dexterity and two serpent rings totaling 21%. His results were 824 hits, 176 misses, and the experimental dodge percentage was 17.5% instead of the 21%. Again, showing that the hypothesis one is incorrect. From the results of the test, hypothesis 2 is most likely correct. However, um, Tryhard did say that it's pretty much confirmed because Yusa Minky Mink ran his own experiment, which supports Tryhard's experiment, and Yusa Alex 06 checked with a memory scanner to get the game output of dodge percentage. I think I've summarized and simplified the Reddit post the best that I can to help you understand because I know sometimes it can get a little confusing with numbers and calculations. Huge thanks again to Tryhard and everyone who got involved. We know how dodge percentage works and that it's not additive. Because of Tryhard's experiment, we now have the formula on how dodge works. With this formula, I was really curious if dodge was still worth it or how much dodge was I actually getting with all these new items and heroes, etc. So I took the formula, took the heroes, the items and the abilities to figure out the percentage in different scenarios and calculated some things for us. Let's first go through everything that grants dodge. So the serpent ring grants you 7% and usually players who run this build will have two serpent rings which totals to 14%. Vest of dexterity grants 7%. Then we have agile locket which grants 15% when lower than 20% health in its epic tier. Meowjik grants 5% dodge at level 40. 
Then we also have two abilities in the game that grant dodge as well. Dodge Master grants 20% dodge. Agility grants 0.3% dodge per 1% missing health. Hero Roller also grants 10% dodge at level 80, but I won't be including her in this video. I apologize to anyone who plays Roller, but because it's a level 80 stat and an expensive hero, the results are not relevant for a lot of us. This might look a little bit confusing, but here are my results. I'll just explain each tab so you understand what's going on here. Then you can pause and read over it if you'd like. I have three colored sections here. The green is the meta dodge build. This is what most of us will have, two serpent rings and a vest of decks. The blue is abilities, plus the dodge meta build. The yellow is everything that gives you dodge excluding roller. So under raw dodge value, this is what we believe to be dodge, the additive amount, the basic dodge calculation we thought Archero was using. The second tab is the real dodge value. This is what I've calculated with the formula. This is the real dodge value. The third tab is just the real dodge value converted into a real dodge percentage. The fourth tab is the dodge loss. So with this tab here, you can see how much less the dodge percentage is from what we originally thought it would be. I'd like to clarify that we didn't actually lose any dodge. It was just all wrong. So this is the amount of dodge we have been using the whole time. Then we have used, which is just what I used to calculate these percentages, so like here two serpent rings or vessel dexterity, meowgic, etc. And then the last tab is EHP, which stands for effective health points. This basically means how much damage you can take before dying. EHP value is looking at one health point. This is really important, so Tryhard actually pointed this out when I was discussing dodge with him on Discord. Let's use a common example. Most of us who are running a dodge build will be using two serpent rings and a vessel dexterity. If I had 5,000 HP and the real dodge percentage of 19.56, this means my effective health points would be 6,216, which means I can take 6,216 damage based on these numbers. That is 1,216 more than my starting health of 5,000. If I increase my dodge percentage, so let's say we'll add dodge master, which grants 20% into the mix. That means your dodge percentage would be at 35.65, this makes your EHP even higher at 7,770. So the more dodge you stack, the higher your effective health points. While dodge is still weaker and not as straightforward as we thought, it's actually not very weak at all and still a powerful stat. Keep in mind that dodge is RNG based, which is just chance base. So for example, two serpent rings and a vest is 19.56% dodge. It doesn't mean that it's set value. One run, you could maybe dodge 20% of the attacks, and the next run, you could dodge maybe 15% of the attacks. You can achieve a high percentage of dodge, for example, with Meowgic at 64% if you're at 10% health. That is a high rate of dodge, and some may argue that good players will be able to maintain 10% HP to achieve that dodge rating. My response to that is if you're good enough to consistently stay on a specific level of health just in order to maintain a dodge rating, you don't need dodge in the first place. With these calculations, does that change anything for the dodge build? I would say no, even though it's less than we thought. Dodge, in my opinion, is still very much worth it. Some have said that this makes other items better, such as the wolf ring, which gives you 5% crit chance. Okay. So I do know that a lot of players have been using crit builds, which I will talk about in another video, but let me state this now. Our builds that we use in Archero are completely personal preference. Mathematically, you cannot compare dodge to crit unless you assume you die at a certain point. Dodge is trying to survive longer and crit is trying to deal more damage. These are not directly comparable. Why it's complicated? On one hand, you may dodge many attacks in one run, which means you're surviving longer, which means you could be dealing more crits in that one run due to being alive longer. On the other hand, you could have critted more in the much shorter run, but taken more damage and died. This is why it's not directly comparable. I am looking into crit, but it's purely for those who want to use crit builds and it's not actually just trying to figure out what's best because it is your personal preference. So with that, I will stick with my dodge build because I prefer it and because it's still very strong. I would say that the whole calculations did not 
actually change much for the outcome of Dodge, like if people should stop using it or if people should stop building it. Dodge is still very, very powerful. So for those who love to use Dodge like me, don't worry, keep doing it, keep doing you. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. It's nice to know how Dodge works now. We've been bamboozled all along. Kidding, but I wish Archer was a bit more simple. Please do subscribe and click the bell for more Archer content. Any likes and comments would be super rad. I hope to see you again for the next one. Bye.